Hello everyone, welcome to Terra Special. In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to perform band composite or layer stacking in QGIS. So you can see here in this uh, tutorial, I'm going to use the Landsat 8 imagery. So in the Landsat 8 imagery, you can see almost 11 bands are there. So in this analysis, I'm going to use from band number one to band number seven of the Landsat 8 imagery. So basically, this function does what it does is it combines these bands together as a single imagery and with that imagery you can have a lot of combinations and various analysis can be done or for visualization purpose you can use it so let, let us see how to do that so we are going to use the first seven bands from Landsat 8 imagery we just go back to the QGIS here go to the option layer and you can find the option add layer under the add layer you can find add raster layer and now click on this button to browse the image so now here I am going to select the image you can see here B1 B2 use the control button B3 B4 B5 B6 and B7 so you can see at the last you can see B1, B, B2, B3 likewise this is nothing but B1 refers to band number 1 B2 means band 2, B3 means band 3 likewise so after uh, selecting the images from 1 to 7 bands just click open and hit the button add the image will be automatically added to the map canvas you can see here now let me collapse this all so that we can have a proper look at it now you can see here from band 1 to band 7 is there so let me arrange it properly so I am just uh, arranging based on the sequence band 1 2 3 4 like that so now we have arranged the image uh, arranged the bands so now in order to do the uh, band composite or uh, layer stacking there is an option in uh, QGIS go to the option raster from there you can see the option miscellaneous and you can see the option called as build virtual raster so select it and after selecting it you can see a small button on the right hand side corner input layers select the button and after that here in this case I am going to use all of this band so I am going to select all you can customize it if you don't want any band from this part you can just remove it likewise you can do or if, if you didn't add the file you can directly add it from here also by clicking add file you can browse the image and add it by clicking open so now we have uh, added the band, uh, bandas, bands and click ok after uh, doing that you can see here place uh, each input file into separate bands you can select it and after doing it come down you can see the option save to temporary file you can just click on this button if you want you can save it as a temporary file otherwise you can save it to a particular location so now I am going to save it to a particular location by clicking save to file after that you can see uh, you can search our uh, go to any uh, specific location just uh, give the output name so here I am going to give a Landsat 8 composite 1 so now I am going to save it now hit the button run so the process has been finished within a few seconds as you can see let me close it and uh, let me unselect the other images and you can see here we have got the image so these seven layers has been combined together as an image and we we, are, we can we can see here so this is how the image looks like we can uh, we can also change the combination so let me show you that go to the option properties by clicking by clicking this image go to the option properties here you can see the option symbology click on symbology after clicking on symbology you can see here red band green band and blue band here you can select the combination accordingly so let me first select the red band 
So here I'm going to use 4, 3 and 2 as the first combination. I'm going to apply it and let us see. You can see here. Now you can see the image is in the natural color. So I have set it because uh, band, four refers is, band 4 refers to red, band uh, 3 refers to green and uh, band 2 refers to blue. So you can get the image like this, natural image. You can just uh, look at the image. So normally uh, how we look at the surface features, you get the same colors. You can also do some false color composite you can change the combination so here I'm going to use in the band uh, red band I'm going to use band 5 this band 5 is nothing but the NIR band band 4 now I'm going to raise the red band then band 3 now I'm going to apply it you can see here this is a false color composite where you can see that the vegetation has been in, uh, highlighted in the red color a uh, thick, uh, thick vegetation has been represented in a dark red red color and you can see the water has been in uh, various uh, colors based on the sediments or uh, the algae which has been found on the water bodies. You can also see settlements. You can see these are the settlements which are uh, available in the image. So if you have any doubts on this, please do ask in the comment section. I will be answering to your questions. So thanks for watching Terra Special. Goodbye everyone.